Hello everyone, this is Kelly Beard of KarmicTools.com and this is a special bonus audio going on my podcast and probably up on the YouTube channel as well. And I wanted to share a meditation with you that Kathy Pagano taught me. She is an amazing Jungian analyst and astrologer and storyteller and author and teacher. You can look her up if you like. But this is called Clear the Doors of Perception and clean the rooms of your senses. This is a really fun visualization that is also very powerful. It's something you can do over and over as many times as needed, and you can take as long as you like, but I would like to keep this meditation to 10 to 15 minutes, so that's what we're gonna do today. Just a little introduction of what she taught us because it has really shifted things in my world for sure, and everyone that I've shared it with has been tremendously moved. So I thought we could use a recording. So get comfortable, relax into your space, take some deep breaths, go to your happy place in nature, someplace comfortable and familiar, relax. We're gonna take a few unifying breaths just to get present. Now imagine that you're breathing through your skin and imagine with each breath that you're pulling in all that oxygen in through your whole body and then let it out through your skin. This is the deep breathing that we're going a little deeper than the initial connection. Focus on the evenness of your breath. Equal counts in, equal counts out. Tune into the rhythm of it. Now imagine that you're traveling through the blood vessels in your body and you begin with your toes from your right foot and your left foot. And imagine that with each breath, You are traveling up from your feet, through your ankles, breathing, connecting with your own body from head to toe. Another deep breath and you move up, bringing your attention and your energy up your calves and around to your shins, up to your knees, breathing deeply. Feel them, feel what's going on. If there's anything stuck or painful, take a moment to breathe extra into it. Give it some love and attention. Tell it you'll be back to tend to it. Now keep breathing all the way up through your thighs, your hamstrings, quads, through your glutes. Come on up into your pelvic area. Breathing deeply, breathing in as if you're breathing through and from your heart and then breathing out through your skin all over your body. Deep breath, deep exhale. Feel that breath as you move up into your own solar plexus and power center, all the way up through the heart and the chest and the back, shoulder blades, shoulders. Keep breathing. Feel that breath move to your extremities, out through each arm, all the way to the tip of your fingers. Breathing deeply, making that connection. Now you should be very relaxed. Feel how your spine feels. Is it straight, curved, or slumping? Imagine that you're hanging from the top of your head, just your skeleton, hanging comfortably, Loosening up those old bones, deep breath. Now come up through all the veins and arteries of your neck so you relax your facial muscles and your back. And finally, bring that consciousness up to your brain. All of those little twists and turns in your brain, your right brain, your left brain, your frontal cortex. Deep breath. Alternate nostril breathing connects the hemispheres of the brain. Now bring your attention to your pineal gland right in the center. It's connected to your third eye. And breathe at that third eye because this is our opening to where we're going to clear the doors of our perceptions and clean the rooms of our senses. This is so we can perceive better in our own time and space what's really happening for us as individuals. So keep breathing really deeply, staying connected to your breath. 
And we're bringing that attention to the third eye, awakening that, activating that. And we're going to imagine in our happy place in nature, wherever we are, we've been walking through our forest, our magical forest. We see a house that feels very familiar and you're drawn there. Make your way up to that house. This is the house of your senses. When you reach the front door, you'll see a golden key that is waiting for you. Turn the key and walk into the house. Put the key in your pocket. You're going to need it for the other rooms. As you walk into the foyer, you're going to notice that already there and ready for you is every possible cleaning supply you've ever dreamed of. Vacuum cleaners, mops, brooms, dustpans, everything you need to clean, all the healthy organic products you do it with, whatever it is that you do to clean your house. Everything you need is there, right there in the foyer waiting for you. Big garbage bags, everything you need to do a huge, heavy-duty house cleaning. Now, as you walk down the hallway, you'll see the first room on the right. Use your golden key to open the door. Go into this room. This is the room of your vision, your sight. Walk around. Notice all the dusty corners, dark windows. There may be heaps of rubbish, burned out light bulbs. It's just very junky. Everything has a layer of dust. And start cleaning. It may take a few minutes. We're not going to be here long. Like I said, you can do this over and over. But start cleaning and clearing. Notice we're in magical time now. If the walls are gray and dingy, brighten them up. See them painted the color you love that wakes up your sight, your vision. Clean the windows, of course. You're making your way all the way around the room to the window, putting all the trash in trash bags, dusting, cleaning, clearing. Now open the window and let some fresh air in. Take a deep breath of that beautiful air and allow that breeze to clear away magically the last layer of any dust or dirt that you want released from your vision to clean the filter of your vision. Walk around your room now. It's all bright, shiny. It's been upgraded and updated with furniture and comfy stuff that makes you want to look at it. Visually stimulating items are in here. And as I said, you might want to come back. if You need to do a little extra clearing. If vision is a sense that you want to work on, you can come back and clear again and again as needed. But feel lighter, feel more open. See if the world outside the window doesn't look a little better as if it just rained and the sun came out and everything is crisp and clear. Now we're going to come out of this room and go across the hallway. Use your golden key to open the door. Now this is the room of your hearing. There may be some old stereos and boom boxes, eight track cassette tapes, <laughs> different junky stuff, cobwebs, dirt. Imagine cleaning it all up, moving through the room, sweeping, vacuuming, dusting, scrubbing things down and making this room clear for you to hear, to hear yourself, your higher self, your soul self communing with you, to hear what's going on around you to the extent that you need to. This is the clearing in your hearing department. Now, if this room is too small, again, we're in magic time, you may want to push the walls back or the ceiling higher to get a better sound quality in this room for the future. You want this room to be clear so you can hear and listen again. Know that as you're clearing this room, you're improving your hearing. Now go to the window and open and listen. Listen to the wind blowing. Maybe there's some birds outside. Maybe if you're in a city, there's traffic or rain. But just listen and know that you can come back to this room anytime you need to do a clearing. So we're gonna leave this room Walk down the hallway, 
and across the hall to another door. Use your golden key to unlock it. Now we've come to the room of smells. There may be a lot of stuff in there. Our sense of smell can trigger the oldest memories. It's a very powerful sense that we underrate. Now in this room, you might see some old deodorant bottles or old perfumes and colognes, things we used to think smelled good. Then we found out they were poisoned, <laughs> so we stopped. Get all the junk out of there. Old incense that have gone bad because you gotta burn them sooner than later. They're like spices and herbs. They wane if they just sit around. Clear this room, do some more cleaning, all the dust bunnies in the corners, everything in garbage bags. Clear this room so you can take a deep breath. Imagine smelling something beautiful. Maybe change the color of this room too so that it feels inviting. Think of your happiest smells and infuse this room with those. There's different smells for different parts of our lives. There's food smells and flower smells and oils and our bodies and our everything. There's so many smells on planet Earth. And many of them are amazing and beautiful. So we're clearing so that we can breathe them in deeply and use this, one of our senses, that again in the magical realms can help us sniff new ideas that are floating on the wind to be the first one to smell change in the air, or that the weather is shifting and we need to be prepared. We need all six of our senses. So open that window in the room of smells and take a deep breath. Do you smell your garden or fresh morning rain, wood fire burning? So many delicious smells are possible now that we've done a clearing. And know that you can come back to this room as well. We're going to come out of this room and go across the hallway and use your golden key to open the door. This is the room of taste. There may be a lot of old food there or things you want to clean up and throw out, old coffee cups, food that you may have eaten too much of or stored up just in case, plastic wrap and all the packaging that comes with food. Just clean it all up. Clear this space again. We want to be able to taste real flavors. There's so many chemicals and things that we've lost our ability to taste natural flavors and allow our palate to do what it's supposed to do. Clean all this room, vacuum, dust, scrub it down, go over to the window and open it up and look out on a beautiful garden of herbs and plants and vegetables. Look at your food forest, your permaculture farm where everything grows together and goes together and doesn't violate nature in any way, shape or form, but provides and sustains you and the land. Everything you need has been provided by mother, everything. And know that you also can come back to this room do a clearing as needed. Tune in to your senses, your sense of taste in terms of sourness or saltiness, bitterness or sweetness. See if your tongue can taste those things when you just imagine them. And we're going to move on from this room, come out the hallway, down. To this door is on the right. Use your golden key to open the door. And now we are entering the room of touch. In here, we're going to have all kinds of textures. The shag carpeting from the old days. If you had a grandma or an auntie that put plastic on the furniture, you can remember how that feels. I mean, polyester used to be the material of the day for a minute and a half before we realized that was not a good idea. Nothing synthetic. We're getting back to all natural. It's healthier for the planet and it's healthier for us. So here, just feel everything. Think of anything you've ever touched. Clean everything up in this room. This has been a neglected room. We don't touch ourselves enough or, or each other. And now that may be harder than ever going forward. So we really don't want to lose our sense of touch. Self-massage, deep soaks in the tub. There are ways that we can pamper ourselves to feel 
the sense of touch awakened in a good way. And now when you go to the window, feel around the edges of the window pane, feel the cool glass before you open it. And when you open this window, take a deep breath in and imagine you're barefoot walking in the grass or in the sand or down a wooden dock. What does it feel like under your feet? Now the last room we have you're going to come out of that hallway, go back to the front, and you're going to go upstairs. Imagine that you're going ascending up a staircase in your house. This is the sixth sense. It is a feeling, not your personal feelings, but more like a gut feeling, a sense. And you're going to use your golden key to open this door. And when you go in this room, it's very dark. You have to pull back big, heavy curtains under which are some lighter, sheer curtains under which are blinds, under which are shades to get to the window itself where it's clear and you can sense what's beyond. And this room, nobody's been in it for so long. It really needs some love. So we're going to clean this up. This has all your hunches. All those, I should have followed my first mind. All those times where you sensed what was right, but you let your monkey mind guide you another way. This is the sense of feeling, the sixth sense that we're clearing in this room. And as you're able to clear this room, know that you're clearing your ability to sense your own body and what's going on internally, what's imbalanced, too much, not enough, just right, and your ability to sense what's going on around you and what's too much, not enough, or just right. It's your ability to sense when it's time to move and change, or when it's time to be still and quiet. It's a very important sense that there is no handbook to, so we don't get a lot of training with it as children, unless you came up in a really wonderful family. And again, know that you can come back here anytime you need to as well. Now we're gonna come back down the stairs. We're gonna feel the house is shifted completely. We're gonna say a little blessing of gratitude and set the intention that we'll come back periodically to clear these rooms again. Because just like anything else, it's going to rain the next day and you don't clean your house once and it's done. You clean it every week or every month, hopefully. Deep cleanses quarterly, semi-annually or annually. So there's times where we can do this. And now you're back in your happy place in nature. I want you to be comfortable where you are, but I want you to open your eyes and scan your room wherever you are right now. First of all, just notice if you're seeing things a bit clearer. Now, begin to focus in on one thing. Really look at it. Notice the color and the texture. Notice everything about it. Now ask yourself, what does it feel like? Of all the things in the room that you could have honed in on, you honed in on that one thing. What was the feeling of that? What does it feel like? What are you sensing? What are you picking up with your senses? Now you might want to try it again. Shift your attention again. Look at something else that catches your eye. Really look at it. Tune into the vibratory frequency. Look at what it really does in the room, but also ask, what does it feel like? What is the difference of feeling between a feather and a statue? What is the difference between the feeling when you look at a comfortable chair or a musical instrument? Your senses are here to inform you about what is real and true for you. And that's why cleaning the filters periodically is super useful. And of course, if there was one in particular that you feel like you need to work on, go back to that room and create your own meditation for doing a clearing there. And know that you're completely supported energetically to do these clearings on the full moon and new moon, the quarters. There's all kinds of ways you could line up your clearing, but this was just a really useful meditation. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to hear from you. 
any ahas and revelations that come from this. And I hope you enjoy the bonus material on my podcast and YouTube channels. So thank you again, everyone. This is Kelly Beard of Karmic Tools signing off.